So, um, over on Patreon, I had a poll of what should be the next uh, My Adventures with Superhero Blank. Basically taking, like, my version of how to do, of how I would bring in, or at least a story of, like, a version of My Adventures with Superman going on adventures with other DC characters. The first one I did was, of course, Batman. Then it was Wonder Woman. I did a poll for the next one, which was The Flash, and I recently did The New Gods, just as a little change up from the others. But I held another poll because I was very, I really enjoyed doing the My Adventures with the New Gods story. I, I had so much fun with it. I was like, hey, how about I do a poll for another one? And this was the winner by a, a, from the poll by a landslide. And that is My Adventures with Green Lantern. Which is funny because I was like, a lot of people were clamoring for my adventure, like for me to do a my adventures with uh, Aquaman, and that was one of the poll um, that was on the polls. That barely got any view. That barely got any votes. I'm not saying like you know, I'm not say saying it was bad for anyone. I'm just saying like, huh? I I was for certain it was gonna be like it. I thought it was gonna be close from at least Black, you know, uh, I almost said Black Lantern. <laughs> um, uh, Green Lantern and Aquaman, because I knew those would be close. But the other ones I had, and it was interesting because, like, the other ones I had were Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, Booster Gold, Green Lantern, Zatanna, and a combination of Hawkman and Hawkgirl for one. Green Lantern won by 42%. The, cl the other two close ones were, shockingly, Booster Gold and Zatanna, whereas Martian Manhunter and Aquaman really only got, like, one or two votes. Hmm. But hey, it's all cool. I'm actually, like, Oh, Green Lantern won. I was expecting Aquaman, but neat. <laughs> anyway, so here we are with My Adventures with Green Lantern. So let's get started. So much like My Adventures with the New Gods, this is set after the events of Season 2. And what is going on is that um, there is a, a, like, Perry sends Lois and uh, Clark and Jimmy off to a or to write a piece about the new, uh, air, the new LexCorp funded Ferris Airlines, uh, fair, uh, like military jet, like is met because basically they're after Brainiac's invasion of Metropolis, the whole world is kind of like we were woeful. If we didn't have Superman and by extension Supergirl helping us, um, yeah, we would have been ro so royally fucked. So. Sorry, fucking chair. Um, so, <laughs> we we need some new tech. So LexCorp and, and uh, Ferris and uh, the Ferris uh, company, Ferris Airlines, they are base they are basically building a new form of jet uh, uh, that will be able to have stronger weaponry, be able to move faster, and be able to intercept in uh, extraterrestrial threats. Although Clark is just kind of like, Lex is going to use this on me, isn't he? <laughs> and Lois is like. Be nice, because Fer the Ferris family is actually in this universe is actually close friends with uh, the Lanes. It turns out, um, back uh, um, Sam Lane and um, General Ferris were friends. They were on the same military base together, and Carol is actually a childhood friend of Lois. So it was actually Carol who got. Uh, Lois and the others in, like, she, like to give them a private tour and whatnot. She's the heir to the company, the apple of her father's eye, and Lois has always been a little bit jealous um, of how Carol's father treats her, as opposed to how her dad used to treat her, um, of being like kind of distant from each other. You know, um, she even says like Carol's dad never cared that he had a daughter. In fact, he championed having a daughter. My dad did, uh, you know, wish my dad did that for me, but you know, sooner than later. And Clark, of course, being the gentle golden retriever boyfriend that he is, um, just like hugs her. He's like, "It's all right, honey." So while they're doing this, they're like, "Well, who's going to be the pilot for you know handling this uh, this um, project?" And they're like, "Well," and Carol's like, "So you remember Hal?" And, and Lois is like, "Oh, Carol, no, no, Carol, no, not Hal." And, she, and Clark's like. Clark and Jimmy are like, who's who's Hal? Like, what's going on? Like, who who the heck is Hal? And Ke and uh, Lois explains, Hal is the boyfriend that she will not leave, right, Carol? And, and she's like, he's getting better. He's a really dad thinks he's a really great pilot. And he's like, how many planes has he crashed? And <laughs> Carol's like, seven. 
18 ish <laughs> yeah but he's a really good pilot you know he just takes risks but uh, you know dad likes him i like him and, she, and, and, Lon and lois is like against your better judgment he's Lo like lois even says he's not a bad guy uh, hal isn't like a jerk hal's just kind of hal may be arrogant but he's all he's a and he's a damn good pilot he's just so uncommitted like he can't like like he's been with Carol for like seven for like all, he's been having an uh, he's had he has commitment problems is uh, and that's kind of her th that's kind of Lois's thing because she's like how many times has he d and while she's like laying into Hal Hal's like like she's going into this whole thing and that's when she's like and another thing he's probably standing behind me isn't he and he's like hi Lois hey Hal what's going on and he's like. Oh, you know, having commitment issues. And Clark is just like, oh, Hal, um, Hal Jordan, I'm Clark Kent. He's like, oh, nice to meet you, Clark. Um, <laughs> and you say I have, ba and you say Carol has bad taste in, in men. <laughs> so Clark is like, wow, what a dick. But whatever, you know, he, seem, he seems, not, and even Hal is like, after he says that, he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, man, that, that was a little too harsh. Um, tell you what, I'll give you guys a private interview after I fly this jet here. So, uh, see you later. So he leaves, and they are, um, they go to the airfield, Lex is giving his speech, and even, like, Jimmy makes a note of, like, hey, is, is Lex losing his hair? And, he, and Clark is like, oh, I hope. <laughs> He's like, let me have this little victory. Anyway, so Hal shoots off into the plane. Um, showcasing it, like how far it can go into the strat, into the atmosphere. Um, but as he is, um, <laughs> as he is, he sees like something out in, like out in the, like uh, just distance of space, and it just comes fly, uh, like flashing through, like flashing past him. He loses control of the plane, and it's like hurdle, it's like flying, to, falling to the ground. Um, the plane, it, it, like, Hal manages to, like, s stabilize the plane, and they're like, holy shit, was, was that? Uh, Hal, get the plane back, and he's like, negative, I'm gonna see what's going on, and he flies after it. So, he follows, and, uh, the plane cra- uh, like, they, like, obviously Clark sees it, too, with his supervision, he's like, Lois, I gotta go. So he changes into Superman, flies after it, but as he's chasing after it, um, what happens is that he gets cut off by a un, uh, by a uh, another ship that was chasing the one that was falling out of the sky, and he gets blasted by uh, by its cannons. The person behind that gu uh, those guns is Kanjar Ro, uh, the space you know the king of space pirates. So Kanjar Ro and his crew are like, oh look at this, a Kryptonian. You know, I wonder how much you're, uh, you know, you'll sell on the black mo on the intergalactic black market. And he's like, oh, God, I just got through one space invasion. Looks like I'm going to have to hurt you guys. <laughs> so he's like, I'll give you one chance to leave, whoever you are. And that's when Kara comes flying in and punches the ship. And he was like, I was wondering when you were going to show up. And she's like, I was at the zoo. They won't let me go back. I petted the goats too hard. Uh, and he's like, okay, I'll, we'll unpack that later. Right now we gotta fight these guys. And he's like, do you know who they are? And he's like, yeah, it's Can his name's Kanjar Ro. Um, he's an intergalactic space pirate who raided, when I was under Brainiac's control, he raided a lot of our planets. And he's like, oh, Brainiac, and Kanjar Ro overheard this. And he's like, oh, Can Brainiac's dead? Oh, that's terrible. Your car's like, you seem pretty psyched about it. No, I'm bummed. But he wasn't bummed. He was actually pretty stoked, in fact. Uh, <laughs> so, um, where was, where was I doing? Um, so yeah, they fought, while they're fighting, while they're battling Kenjaro, um, while they're fighting Kanjaro, oh, Superman and Supergirl battling Kanjaro, Hal manages to fly after the plane, sees sees the um, the ship crash. He lands the plane next to it, and uh, yes, it is Abin Sur as he's like dying. He's like he's critically injured, and he's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I don't, like I don't know who you are, man, but you look like you're hurt." He doesn't care that it's an alien, and he actually takes the he actually like takes Abin and brings him 
like he's like hey man i'm gonna do some first aid on you real quick i hope you have like i don't know what's your injury but you look like you're bleeding pretty bad he's like thank you earth man you you're quite kind you know you uh, someone of your planet as much as i've observed it someone of your world um someone of your world would have left me to die he's like yeah well i'm not most people but as he's patching up the injuries, that's when LexCorp and Ferris, the Ferris Company, um, show up with several scientists. One chief among them being Hector Hammond, who has been put in charge of Lex Luthor's intergalactic, um, you know, you know, cosmic, uh, yeah, tongue tied over my own words, intergalactic um, species research facility. So Hammond stops Hal, and they're like, "Oh, we'll take care of this Zeno." I mean you know, friend from the stars, and he's like, I don't care, pal, I'm gonna go with you. And he's like, no, Jordan, you're not, you know. So, you are, you know, you're gonna go back to the plane, you're, you're lucky you didn't wreck it, so take, you take the plane and head back to base, that's an order. And he's like, fine. Of course, um, Lois, Jimmy, and Carol, like, hear about, like, they were there at the scene. Like, they followed, because they're like, holy shit, we, that's a story, and also, what if this involves Clark? So they saw everything, and Hal is just beat up because he's like, I know, like, we had a whole thing with, you know, with an alien invasion a few months back with Brainiac, but I don't believe that every... Let me look at Superman. He's an alien, and he's a good guy. I mean, his cousin was my, even mind-controlled, and she's turning out all right. So I refuse to believe that every alien we encounter is evil. And he's and they're like, hey, weren't you part of that... In, like, weren't you part of Bra fighting Brainiac's invasion? And he's like, yeah, I was. I lost a, good fr a lot of good friends. And I was angry for a while, but then I realized, you know, just like us, there's good aliens and there's bad aliens. And I refuse to believe that the guy I just saved, you know, that guy, that guy seems like he's, you know, he seems like a cool dude. So they're like, well, we're going to break into LexCorp to save him from the Hector Hammond. Meanwhile, back there, while this is going on, Superman and uh, Clark and Clark and Kara are still in are still battling Kanjaro until like a green energy beam just shows up and encapsulates all of his ship and like um down comes um sinestro along with um along with uh cat matui and kilowog and chip so we've got four really powerful green lanterns showing up and all four all of them are like where where is he kanjar like where is abin Sur? And Kanjar's like, if I'm lucky, he's bur he's burning alive in the pile down there on this backwater planet. And Sinestro's about to like kill him, and Kanjar's like, uh, Kilowog's like, uh uh, we don't do that. Remember Sinestro? And he's like, of course. And he like stops it. But he's like, you're under arrest. And there, and that's when Superman's like, hey, hi, who are you guys? I'm Superman. Uh, this is my cousin Kara. And they're like. Kara zor the herald of Brainiac, and she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and, they're, and Clark, before the fight breaks out, he's like, look, Kara was under mind control. Who are you guys? I saw you when I was in Brainiac. Brainiac was in my head. And he's like, yeah, we're the Green Lantern Corps. We protect, uh, we are an intergalactic peacekeeping corps. We were at war with Brainiac, and then found out when he died in this sector. You know, Abin Sor was supposed to protect this sector, but he was busy battling Kanjar, uh, this idiot Kanjar Ro, from st you know sending weapons to the Ran Thanagar conflict. So, Abin Sor was unable to you know unable to assist you during the Brainiac invasion. So they explain, and even like Sinestro's like uh, when after even Clark explains, hey, my cousin was under mind control by Green uh, by Brainiac. Sinestro's like. She still carried out those atrocities, and, and Kara's like, I know I did, and I and not like not a day goes by that I don't, you know, feel, you know, I don't, um, where I feel I don't feel like garbage for killing those people. And he's like, Good, I would still prefer to see you in prison. But and then Clark again, like, Hey, we're not doing that. And even Kilowog's like, Yeah, the has got a point. We, we came here to find Abin. Um, his ship fell, and Clark's like, Yeah. Um, I, you know, if you help us, you know, if you, if we help you find your friend, will you drop the charges against Kara? And they're like, yeah, if she's, you know, obviously if she's under mind control, the Guardians aren't going to, like, press, the, if anything, she's a victim of Brainiac as much as everyone else. Um, 
So if you help us find Abin, we're, we're a, we'll pretend like we never saw Kara. And Sinestro's like, I don't like this, but Ab you know, finding Abin Sur is more important. So they go. Meanwhile, uh, Lois, Hal, uh, Jimmy, and, and Carol are breaking into LexCorp to find Abin Sur. And they ascend, and what they find is that he's being tortured by um, Hector Hammond for Luthor. And Hammond is like just enjoying causing pain to him because he's like the alien you know the alien menace is a dangerous one and it you know i saw what brainiac can do and the human race is woefully unprepared for your species i will not allow this you know this the xeno filth to be uh to propagate on the planet again I, and one day we will kill and overcome superman and, and, and supergirl anyway so they go, and he's already got the ring locked up, and the ring looks like it's trying to like ping its way out of the out of the containment cell. Um, but as they're like as they're sneaking in, Hal like goes to confront Hammond, and he's like, "Hey, Egghead!" And he's like, "Jordan?" He's like, "Yeah, Jordan," and just clocks Hammond across the face while the others are trying to free Abin. Um, but Abin does it like he's like it's too late i he's the, the between the injuries and what that human did to me i'm i'm done for and by that point that's when the other green lanterns arrive uh with superman and supergirl lex corp robots are being programmed and they're trying to fight them off um but it's four green lanterns and two kryptonians you do the math so by this point um the ring like they're there and the ring is released, and the ring actually goes to Hal, and that's when Abin's like uh, looking at his brothers as he's like dying, and he's like, "The ring chose him. I want you to guy like as my last wish. Give this human who showed me kindness in my final hours what it means to be a Green Lantern." And they're like, and Sinestro's like, "I'll do any everything I can, my brother." Um, so Abin dies, and the, and the other Green Lanterns are like looking at him, and Hal's like. Whoa! <laughs> Hi! Suit feels weird. Um, can I take this ring off? Oh, I can't? Okay. So they're like, look, we're going, you know, you're now a part of the Green Lantern Corps, and maybe it's for the best that since Brainiac has been invaded the Earth, and followed by Kanjar Ro, you know, it's vital that the human race goes out into the stars and who better than an earth man not a kryptonian goes to represent earth in the cosmos and hal's like yeah you're right i'm gonna put my boot up every alien's ass and he looks over at kilowog and he's like not you guys i you guys are really cool is that a squirrel by the way <laughs> anyway so it ends with hal leaving with the other green lanterns but as a little epilogue piece um, Hammond, after Lu after being fired by Luthor, begins working on like a special project he's been working on, which is increasing his his brain because he's like, I need to think harder to beat these aliens. Hence, becoming the you know Green Lantern villain we know and despise. So there you go, guys. That is my adventures with Green Lantern. I'd like to thank everyone who voted on this poll. And I forgot to mention this earlier. If you guys would like to be part of a future poll, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon, hit the first tier. That'll allow you access to do so. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.